Spain. Unfortunately, we're counting down to the sunshine. It's going to take a little bit of time, too. You can see from Statesville as we go through Mount Airy and Price getting hit with some of the heavier winds. We widen out this view and you can see all of this moisture streaming in from the south, a deepening upper low to blame for all of this heavy rain, along with some good enhancement aloft too. We'll talk about that in a minute. Zooming in here for folks from Winston South through Greensboro. You've got some heavier pockets heading up through Belus Creek area and Summerfield. We go through Winston Salem, Wahlberg and Thomasville, and this is where we get hit with some heavy rains and getting a break in Wilkesboro. This is what we're going to see now a little less in the intensity of rain, but still heavy downpours possible from time to time into your Friday. So get a little bit of a break in between. Now look at the second wettest year to date is still 2003, but we're inching up there. We've got 61.66 inches so far for the year. That means almost an inch in Greensboro today alone. 96 hundredths of an inch actually just updating that within the last few minutes here and an inch in Winston Salem. Almost an inch in Lexington, more than that in Burlington. And from our weather watchers up in Ennis, Willie has gotten almost two inches up in the Allegheny County area. One inch from Ryan Carmichael in Pofftown and nearing two inches also in Hamptonville and southern sections of Wilkes County there. Tobaccoville doing well in northern Forsyth County too with more than an inch. So 40s for you right now. It's chilly, but we've got those winds out of the northeast at about 9 to 10 miles an hour. We're starting to see that southeasterly component to the wind and a warm front is inching its way here. This is going to take temperatures into the upper 50s and low 60s. I know it seems strange that we're actually warming up out of the 40s, but as that warm front moves inland, it may help to shut down some of the intense rainfall for a brief time and we'll get just scattered showers. Your temperatures then continue to cool late tomorrow afternoon afternoon, but we'll hold on to the upper 50s, the low 60s through a good part of our morning. So not as bad. You might get a break here with some fog still in the mix, some drizzle, and then look at this temperatures in the mountains. You'll cool off a little bit sooner. You'll also see that upper low moving east and shifting our weather pattern for us. But what happens here is that we have snow chances. A cold front at the surface brings that opportunity for you. It should be just the west facing slopes, the beaches or beach mountain area, I should say uh, the ski slopes that get hit with some of the snowfall, the beneficial snow that we like to see where it belongs right on the ski slopes and your temperatures out there in the 40s by late evening tomorrow continue to cool into the 30s without the moisture. So that means no snow chances east of the mountains tomorrow. It does mean clearing and we have some sunshine on the way for your Saturday and Sunday. Here's a look though at our flood concerns for tonight through Friday afternoon. We also have river flood warnings that'll be up through Tuesday or I, I keep saying Tuesday. I keep I mean to say Saturday uh, as we have at least two o'clock in the afternoon concerns for that river to be above the flood stage and we're looking at runoff too. Could we see some flash flooding in here through tomorrow? We'll look at that. Should that cold front help to produce some good heavy rains in the afternoon? But right now we're looking at any from another inch to almost an inch of rain. So that would put some folks closer to three inches by the time the system is done. Good soaking showers today. We do dry out for the weekend. One of the reasons that we have seen so much rain, these little enhancements aloft in the mid levels. We've got these small storms helping to produce that lift that we like to see for showers and storms and that big deepening low also aloft allowing for just the right pattern with some good surface moisture out of the Gulf. So flooding concerns continue with that one to two inch rainfall total. And here's our warm front inching its way toward us tonight. That should begin to take temperatures up as we go through the next 24 hours here. We'll be watching for that. Then we say goodbye to those mild temperatures as we cool out behind the front dry you out 70s or 60s and 50s for the weekend. You see morning lows down into the 30s. Your Christmas Eve is dry and Santa will be happy to see mostly sunny skies on Tuesday along with us.